Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Cynthia Brando and it's another Tuesday vlog. So this vlog I've been really nervous to do and also excited. Um, it's a very vulnerable vlog for me. I'm sharing something from my past that is really going to expose me uh, musically in a way that is not very flattering. <laughs> um, the good thing is that it's from quite a, a long time ago, but the interesting thing about this story and why I wanted to share it is because it really is a story about perseverance, uh, following your dreams, sticking with something, a story about improving on something that you really want to do, working hard at it, and then a story of success. It's my story and I'm excited to share it with you. And here we go. All right, so those of you that know me know that I moved to Los Angeles around 38 years old to pursue music. It's something that I always wanted to do, and I moved here from a small town. I lived in an area called Humboldt in Northern California from 2006 to late 2013 when I moved to LA. So when I was in Humboldt, I went to school, I went to college, I didn't study music, I studied something else. But I always wanted to do music. So when I graduated from college in 2009, it was a strange time for me because I, I, I literally did have a nervous breakdown going to school. It was so hard for me. I was 30 years old and um, it was hard going back to school. And I had a hard time. And so I did graduate and I remember the day I graduated or it, it might have been the next day that I told myself, yeah, but I want to do music. <laughs> and it was the weirdest thing because I had spent all this time going to school. But the, the day I said that I want to do music is the day I really started doing music full time. So to do music full time, I still had to have a job to support myself. So I ended up, even though I had a college degree and I actually had job offers and, and w within my degree, I decided that I didn't want any job that had responsibility or too much responsibility so I could focus on music. And that is actually what I did. And I would stay home a lot and I would play my guitar and I would write songs and I would try to get good at the guitar. I've had an interesting experience with music because I don't feel like I was born to do music. It's something that I found, that I, that I found out that I wanted to do uh, in high school. So I, so I picked up the guitar in high school and I started uh, really working at it. But for some reason, uh, circumstances had something to do with it, but I, you know, I, didn't, I didn't have uh, any lessons. I, I'm totally self-taught. And for some reason, it took me a really long time to get good at it. I actually didn't get good at music probably until right before I moved to Los Angeles. <laughs> so that was in my late 30s. I was almost 40 years old when I felt like I was starting to get good at music. And when I tell people that I used to sound really bad and my music was horrible, no one believes me because, because I, I sound good. Like I'm, I'm good at what I do. And I, but the thing is, I worked really hard at it uh, and I came from, a, from the bottom and I worked my way up. Now I tell people that my 2018 album is my first album. I always tell people that. And this is an album I put out in 2018 called The Treehouse Trio Sessions. And I tell people that this is my first full length album, but it's, it's actually not true. There's another album <laughs> and it is called Dead Fox. So Dead Fox is a full length album that I put out in 2009 when I was 31 years old. Um, I did this album in Humboldt County. Um, Dead Fox is this ridiculously embarrassing name I gave myself because I was trying to be cool. I thought I needed some sort of cool indie rock name and I did have some sort of thought process of why I chose Dead Fox, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, I chose Dead Fox as my stage name. Now, right off the bat, you can tell that 
something's wrong. Like, this is not good. Like, the cover is not good. It's a picture of me um, in a bra with some <laughs> plants hanging down with their roots and I'm wearing jasmine flowers in my hair. It's, it's just bad. Like, it's, it's, so, it's so beyond bad. And the thing is, I did this when I was 31. Like, this is not something I did in high school. And so this is why it's hard for me to share this because it's so embarrassing. Like, this, this album that I'm sharing is from when I'm way into adulthood already. And when you think you should know better. But the thing is, and I'm gonna play you some music off, off this album so you could hear how bad it was. The reason I'm sharing this is because, <laughs> I mean, looking back, it's just, I can't believe that, um, like, my parents helped me with this. You know, my parents, um, who are really hardworking people, actually gave me money to do this album at a real studio. That's how much they believed in me. And it's actually how much that I believed in myself. Um, I was sort of so clueless that it was able, I was able to have this confidence from being so innocent and clueless. Um, I tell people that I have a lot of confidence, self-confidence issues, which is true. Um, I do a lot of negative self-talk, but, but, but this reminds me that maybe that's not exactly true. You're going to see that there's no way that someone could think that this is good like at all, and that you would want to spend money on this. I think this cost me a $1,000 to to create. Um, I believed in myself so much that after I made this really bad album, I think that I had a 1,000 copies made, which long ago went into the dumpster. I have a few copies left, and of course, I do not share this. It's not online. Um, the back is not bad, actually. The back kind of has a cool art piece. Um, and the graphics are pretty good. I had someone help me with the graphics, but the photograph is mine. So anyway, I wanted to share this music with you because like I said, a lot of people that know me, and even if you don't know me, you can check out my music online. It's very good. I'm very proud of it. I've worked really hard at it. I'm 44, about to be 45 years old, and I'm very proud of how far I've come with music. And I actually don't know anyone who's had a story like mine who, I mean, the people that I know that are good at music, they've gotten better, yes, but they've never been as bad as I've been. <laughs> like, I, I don't know anyone who's been as bad as I am who has worked themselves up to the extent to where I've gotten in my life currently. Now again, I, I thought it was good back then, and I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I just uh, matured more slowly than other people. So anyway, I'm going to play a song off Dead Fox. I had, I had this album engineered in a very professional studio, and, and it's, it's, the sound is so bad. The engineering is so bad. And this is someone that charges $50 an hour, like a lot of engineers charge. And the sound quality is really bad. The vocals sound good. And this person is actually playing some guitar some accompanying guitar tracks on some of these songs and you could hear his guitar is out of tune. You're going to hear on this song that I'm going to play, my guitar is completely out of tune. Um, I didn't even have enough awareness to even tune my guitar back then. Again, 31 years old. All right, this, also my songwriting is really bad. Now, it's not, now during this time I was starting to get better at songwriting and I certainly have some gems from back then that I actually still play. There's actually a couple songs on here that I revamped over the years now that I've gotten better, realizing like how bad the the arrangement was on some of these songs. So there's are, there are a few songs that I actually play. But in general, a lot of these songs, the songwriting's really bad too. I know the difference now between the quality of my writing now compared to back then. All right, so this song is called Today. I'm gonna be playing it on my stereo over here. Ah! <laughs> so let me just pause it. So for some reason back then, 
I, I always played really fast and I always had these super long intros, you know, two things that are bad right off the bat besides the third thing, which is my guitar was out of tune. So you see the sound quality, how horrible it is, how bad the mixing is right off the bat. Now, my singing's not terrible on this track, but you could, I mean, if you listen, I'm going to play a track from 2018 and you'll, you'll really hear the difference in the sound quality of my voice. This is kind of all over the place. Um, let me play another song off of Dead Fox. All right, how about this song? Again, this like really bad, fast guitar playing that has no feeling or purpose or anything. It's just like I'm running. And it's way too long for an intro. And it's still going. <laughs> it's still going. The purposeless intro. It's, 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 uh, I wrote a lot of like really corny love songs back then. Um, oh, how hard it is to not have a friend. Oh, how hard it is to never see you again. I don't know. I, I had these like really bad rhymes that I would do. Okay, this is the last one I'm going to share. It's called In Another State. You don't want to see me anymore. You'll just have to say we're through. Cause I just can't go on like this In a temporary state of bliss <laughs> I understand you have your own life And I have my own too But it hurts me to see you with her And I have to go on without you Another really like tragic love song I just wanna be free I just wanna be happy Yeah, so um, <laughs> that's a, a few songs off my first album, Dead Fox. But again, I just wanted to share it because um, I'm going to play some songs off my 2018 album. Now, this album I did in 2018, I was really proud of because it was the first full-length project that I've done since 2009. And I was kind of um, really starting to find myself around this time. Now, since 2018, I've actually gotten a lot better since then, but I really like this album. I just want to share a little bit just to show you the difference between what I sounded like back then at 31 and what I sound like now. So probably one of my favorite songs on this album is a song called Afterthought. And so you'll hear the like you'll hear right away just just how much better it sounds. Um, how, my, how my boyfriend engineered this and produced it with me, and he's also playing guitar on it along with me. Um, and it's just uh, and I, I love the songwriting on this song, and I like how my voice sounds after all these years. And there's just a lot of things that I, I really like about it. Like one. 
Granted, this is a love song. <laughs> I don't write as many love songs anymore, but um, this is more of a, th a thoughtful love song that has a lot of cool changes. I'm not trying to like sound egotistical. It's just that, again, it's like I'm so proud of myself and it feels good to say that I'm proud of myself because it's just been such a, a long journey for me with music that, um, and I've come such a long way that I want to celebrate that. And so, I'm very proud of the, this music. So I'll share one more song that's my favorite, and I have a, a really cool video online that I'll link to this song. Um, but you can just tell that my guitar playing is so much better. Um, I don't know why I played so fast back then. It, I never had any men I didn't have a lot of mentors back then, so no one really sat me down and told me how bad I was. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just I wish that someone would have s sat me down, but it's funny because back then though I might have not even have been receptive to it. I don't know. Um, I definitely have kind of shot myself in the foot on my journey too. Like I'm a very prideful person and stubborn. And um, I, I did have a lot of hard. I did have a hard time taking advice back um, when I was younger in my 30s, <laughs> and I've just gotten a lot better at that. I, I, I have a real willingness to want to grow. Now that's um, for people that I ask for advice that I trust. I, you know, like my journey now is uh, sometimes I get unsolicited advice, which is never helpful. But um, when, I, I'm when I want advice and I ask for it and I know who to ask, I find it incredibly helpful um, to grow, getting advice from people that have been doing this for a long time and know what they're doing. But I'm going to share one more song before I end this video. So this is a song called Do You Know What To Do? So I just love how far I've come in my journey uh, from, I, yeah, I, I didn't even show you my 20s. The, the, the 30s were bad enough, but my 20s was even worse, but I'm just re really proud of how, how far I've come in my journey and I just wanted to share that with you and anyone out there who has a dream and they want to do something, maybe um, it's not developed yet and you know, it's easy to lose patience with a dream that for me has taken me a really long time of being in a place that um, I wasn't very good at all and and coming out on the other side and you know being in LA and getting to do music and having improved so much and getting to express myself in this way is really a dream come true for me and so I just wanted to share that story and thanks for watching this video and I hope you like it and I hope you got something out of it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and also the bell if you want notifications. And I'll see you next time.